Hey guys, today's Lost Sector is K1 Logistics on the moon. There's going to be two overloads and three barriers. For a real quick Arc Titan review, we're going to be using Thunder Crash with Thruster, but you could use any class ability. I like to use Catapult Lift, but you could get away with any jump. Seismic Strike, but you could use Thunderclap. I'm going to use Storm Grenades, but Pulse Grenades would also work. Onto the aspects, Touch of Thunder is going to make our Storm Grenades create a roaming thundercloud that tracks nearby enemies. And... Pulse Grenades are going to start creating Ionic Traces. Knockout is going to let us heal our health on melee kill. Moving on to the Fragments, Spark of Feedback. When we take melee damage, we'll deal more melee damage. Spark of Shock will make our Arc Grenades jolt targets. Spark of Magnitude will make them last longer. And Spark of Resistance will make us take less damage while we're surrounded. Moving on to the weapons, I'm going to be using an Auto Rifle for the Barriers, Salvinger Salvo as a general ad clearing weapon as well as Leviathan's Breath for any sort of champion damage, as well as boss damage. Looking at the artifact mods, the important ones are Thunderous Retort. This will make our super deal more damage if cast while we are amplified or critical. Electric Armor will make us take less damage while we are amplified. And Lightning Strikes Twice will give us increased grenade recharge for a short time after we throw a grenade. Moving on to the mods, since this is a hybrid build, we're going to have a hands-on and an ashes to assets. And we're going to use a siphon mod of whatever gun we think is going to be our primary weapon. Looking at the gloves, we're going to have a heavy handed and a firepower. So we have two different forms of orb generation. We're going to be collecting these orbs with powerful attraction and thruster to fuel emergency reinforcement. As well as emergency reinforcement though, we want these orbs for recuperation, innervation, and absolution. And the exotic of choice today is heart of inmost light. All right, moving on to the Lost Sector. This first room will have a barrier in it. We're gonna start off by killing these two Marauders that come over here. And then we will kill the barrier from back here because it's the safest place in the room. I'm going to try to kill everything in this room as quick as possible. I like to kill everything in this room because sometimes the door will not open in the next room. I think it has to do with that knight dying. If the knight is alive, then the next door will not open. This room will have a barrier as well as an overload in it, as well as a lot of exploding shanks. I usually try to kill all the exploding shanks first, and then I move on to the barrier. Once everything's dead, we can move on to the overload. I blinded it with my shoulder charge so it would sit still and then threw my my spark of shock grenade at it. There will be another overload in this room so try to get your grenade back. And then in this final boss room there is a barrier champion. When you kill the barrier champion two nightmares will spawn. Kill both of the nightmares and the shield on the boss will drop. All you have to do from there is kill the boss. Overall, it's a decently short lost sector, although it is one of the longer ones, but with practice, you can cut your time down to the three to four minute range, making it okay to farm, but not suggested.
And then once you kill the boss, you can loot the chest. That's all there will be to it today. Happy farming.